Five minutes to get the f out of here. If I shoot you up, you up, you up. Yeah, someone at the Kansas City home where the shooter lived threatened our crew this morning. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post tried to ask that man about Gavin Long, and she joins us now. And Belinda, what happened? Patrick, you heard what that man said to us. And the thing is, this isn't the first time that media and other people have been threatened outside of Gavin Long's last known residence. In fact, just yesterday, we had some crews out, and police tell us that Cameron Fryer, Gavin Long's brother, actually showed a shotgun in the window. Um, he since has been arrested, taken into custody, and released, but that was for a city warrant charge. Now, yesterday, for hours, the street was taped off while police and FBI investigated. Neighbors said on what normally is a quiet street, police had AKs and semi-automatic guns while they worked the case. They tell us communication between officers and police, or rather people, will cut down on violence against the police. I think it's some type of miscommunication, whereas we believe that a mass of people are this way, and that's not the, that's not you know saying that doesn't apply to police or citizens. You know what I mean? Not all police are bad, not all citizens are bad. Somehow we have to come to a median. Cameron Fry, Fryer, Long's brother, was arrested on that city warrant. It was for a seatbelt charge. Police tell us that he has since been released. Right now, FBI and police are continuing to investigate this, both here in Kansas City and in Baton Rouge. Reporting live in Kansas City, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.